That was beautiful. Okay, but we're going to continue on and we're going to go, oh, we're going to talk about M52317. And these pieces are beautiful, they're colorful, they're all made of metal, thank you, sir. Um, and they're large, and I love that about them. It's the sun and moon or the flower, and it's from Plow and Hearth, the Talavera wall art. Uh, these are 24 and 3 quarter inches in diameter by 1 and 3 quarter inches high, and it's kind of hard to see that because when it's just unless you have something to measure it with so so up against me yeah up against Nancy <laughs> you're gonna be able to see really the size of this aren't these amazing yeah. so you have loved these for years and there's a really good reason for that because they're vibrant they're beautiful they're a piece of sculpture that you're going to hang on your wall or as we have here almost like a substitute for a wreath mm -hmm. but this is in a Talavera style, and if you've never heard of that before, that is a special kind of pottery design that's out of Mexico, and it's these vibrant colors with all those patterns, and the thing that Pal on Hearth did, though, was they made it out of metal, so you don't have to worry about any cracking or chipping or anything with, that you would with a ceramic piece, and they made it into wall art. So we have our two choices. Let's look at those two sure. choices, and before I do, I want to let you know this is customer top rated. It has over 125 star reviews. More of these just arrived, they flew out before. And the two easy payments of $18.86, that goes away at the end of the day. What is the one that you're holding right now? What's I am it called? holding the sun and moon, but also you'll notice there's a star right here in the middle. Aww. I'm gonna turn it because I want you to see this is not flat. This has got dimension to it. So everywhere you see a color change, there is embossing, there oh. is bright colors. Can we look at it this yeah. way? You know I yeah. love to look, look at it flat like on. Like flat this way? I want to yeah. show you guys this because this is where you're going to see the dimension of this. What Nancy just said, that it isn't flat, mm -hmm. that it is truly, yeah, you're going to see it. Now look at how it arches and blooms up with the color and the beauty. It just pulsates up out of the center of that sun, that moon, and that star with all of those exploding vibrant colors of turquoises, oranges, pinks, greens, clays, it's amazing. I know, I love this piece. I had this hanging in my kitchen and I just think it's so cheerful with these three elements, the sun, the moon, and the star, but then we also have- Well, I gotta warn you that oh. the sun, the moon, and the star, very popular, okay. and then as Nancy was gonna say, we also have- We have our flower now. <laughs> For those of you, you know here in Chester County, we have sunflower fields, sure. have you seen them? Yeah. So that's what this reminds me of, a big, beautiful sunflower, but done in those Talavera colors, which are so gorgeous. Antonella was mentioning the turquoise, mm. the mustard, you've got kind of a maroon right there, and also there's metallic gold in here, and oh pink, gosh. and green. If you want color in your life, this is a great piece, and here's the cool thing, Antonella, it can be used outside. Ah. So you can put this out on your fence, put it on your front porch. When I look at that put it sun, on your shed. it reminds me of the summer and not mm -hmm. for the obvious reason. I see the beach and the ocean with the turquoise. I see the sand with the yellow. I see the beautiful green grass and the fruits with the, with the greens, the pinks and the plums are also all seen in nature in our flowers. So when I look at that, I not only see the, the sun, but I see an entire summer season that it, it comes in. These are big pieces, too. They are, they're over two feet across. Woo. And so you're getting something that's really going to be seen on your home, whether it's <coughs> in the backyard, up against a fence, maybe it's on your shed, maybe you want to put it in between two doors you have on your garage. Here we have it as a front door piece instead of a wreath, which I absolutely love because many of you have storm doors, so you can't have a wreath that kind of pokes out and sticks out really far. Right. This has got a nice dimension to it, but it's not really thick. So even though there's great elements in here that have all that texture because of the embossing on there, it's something that's slim enough that can fit on your door if you have a screen or if you have a storm door as well. Nancy, it's so hard to pick. I they're know. they're both gorgeous. Yeah, they really are. How and do I do it? What do I do? Well, you know what? You get one for inside okay. and then you get one for on your front door I or like outside that. somewhere. I like because that. Because I just think that this is one of those really 
really great pieces that's going to be classic in your home. Yeah. And you might just change where you want to put it. Maybe you want it over your fireplace during the summertime. Maybe you'd like to put it on your front door for the fall. Or you might want to move it to outside space because again, oh, remember, oh, look, look, this look, is look, fine look, outside. They put it on this fireplace. Isn't that great? That is so pretty. <laughs> that's our flower. Oh, that's that pretty? the sun. That's the sun, right? Oh, is that, that one's the sun. It looked like that was no, the flower. No, it's flower. You're right. I yep. don't know what Looking I'm really thinking. far away at the monitors they there. They <laughs> are gorgeous. Yep, yep, yep. Um, they are gorgeous. I love how big they are that they I really know. can hold their ground yes. on a mantle. Got to give you an update. If you want the flower, fewer than 400 remain. The sun with the moon that Nancy's holding, that is the most popular right now. We have a few more than that to go around, okay. and that's it. Yeah. Now, Nancy, will you reiterate about how it's okay to have these outside in the elements, the, the painting, whatever will be okay. Absolutely. So when you're looking <laughs> at this, you're going to see a nice shiny gloss on that, and that's a protective coating. This is made out of metal. You don't have to worry about this, you know, chipping or cracking, you know, as it would with ceramic Talavera artwork. This is something that can be used outside. Enjoy it. Put it out on your fence in that kind of forgotten space that's above your flowers or whatever. And then as those are fading during the fall time, you've still got something beautiful to enjoy outside. So maybe you want to put it on a shed or the side of your home. It's such a bright, vibrant piece. But honestly, piece. I see it too. Nancy, I see it like in a little kid's room. Let's say you're redoing it and you're doing the Especially moon the and flower, the stars. Or the moon and the stars. Yeah, or a little girl with flowers. Yeah. Or and you know, have you ever said I love you to the moon and back yeah. to your children? So this would so be perfect. So that would be beautiful even over a crib. Yeah. Even over. Don't limit yourself to what the world says where and how you should do things. Live your own life. If you want to put that indoors, if you want to put them in a powder room, in a nursery, in a kid's room, maybe your own room because you love a whole celestial or flower thing, mm -hmm. do it. Don't let anybody stop you. I like those. I do. Um, two payments of $18.96, your, your choice of sun and moon, which is one, and then the other one is the choice of flower. Okay, I will warn you though, that one is popular, very popular. All right, but Nancy, before we went and looked